A tiny dot in the Indian Ocean, Christmas Island is known as the Galapagos of Australia. In 2022, the ocean surrounding Christmas Island was declared a marine park, making it Australia's second largest protected area. Christmas Island is such a special place, it's really isolated. It has so many endemic species that are found only here in the world and amazing biodiversity both in the ocean and on land. And that's really reflected by the fact that it has a, a national park on the land and a marine park in the ocean. Yet, there are parts of it that are an actual nightmare. I don't think most Australians are aware of how much plastic pollution ends up in remote places like Christmas Island. We only see the plastic for such a tiny moment in its life. Uh, it's really hard to grasp the scale of the problem without seeing it for yourself. Sea Ship have returned this year with Aid Pro. We are primarily focusing on Greta Beach. Greta Beach is just 80 metres long, and in one small area, just over 10 metres, the plastic was so deep and so dense that we have removed a ton in just one day out of that spot. It's been piled up to our knees. For the first time, we've had to use shovels to remove that plastic. Seeing the plastic is just so shocking. We've not seen inundation of plastic like it before. Coming here to clean um, this area has been um, overwhelming at times, um, but overall rewarding um, to be able to document such an issue. The level of marine pollution on that particular beach is um, horrendous. I've never seen something like this. Seeing it in person is making it even more real.
Cleaning up these beaches has been a bit of a roller coaster of emotions. So I guess at first when you arrive, it's pretty shocking to see the density of plastic there. Like I've done cleanups in other parts of Australia, but nothing really prepared me to see the density of plastic on this beach here. And then as you start to move on and clean up, it's quite a satisfying feeling to see the waste reducing and we've you know, helped to make the beaches just that bit safer for wildlife overall. Christmas Island has a very unique marine life. It's very important to protect these beaches and to clean them from the plastic pollution for the migrating crabs, nesting birds and the beautiful turtles that nest here on Greta Beach or on Dolly Beach. Volunteering to Sea Shepherd has really highlighted the fact that marine debris is a global problem. The things that we collected the most on Greater Beach would have had to be um, steel bottle tops and straws. Marine debris does, however, seem to break down. It just doesn't disappear. It just breaks down into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. And it was really hard and quite crippling to to feel like we aren't able to collect everything off the beach. And really the only way that it's going to be stopped is stopped at the source. One of the big questions everybody asks is, where is it coming from? Whose fault is it? We are in the middle of a global plastic crisis. There is not one person to blame for this issue, except for the big plastic manufacturing companies. If I could just say a few words, to the executives, chairman, board members of the plastic industry corporations. Take responsibility for what you produce. I challenge you, come out here, even if it's just for one day. I know you've seen the pictures, I know you've seen the videos, but come out here and join us and see what it's really like when we're picking up day after day after day, the trash and the plastic rubbish that you produce and is used for less than 15 minutes. Sea Shepherd is privileged to have hardworking and very passionate volunteers who are willing to come to remote islands like this and literally sit what, what feels like a landfill site for hours on end. Sea Shepherd takes direct action on remote beaches, removing tons of trash to provide immediate relief for marine life and to expose the global polluters. We know that cleaning up our beaches is not the solution, it's really a band-aid. So collecting data gives us important information to expose what is on the beaches. We can't change what we don't know about. Our work doesn't stop there. We work with stakeholders, policy makers, support legislation and collaborate with many organisations to create positive change and to stop this global plastic crisis. The plastic crisis has really been created over the last 30 years or so. We have come a long way, but we still have lots of work to do. But we are confident that we can change this. This is something we can solve together with science, with innovation, and with redesign. We can put plastic into the dark ages and create cleaner oceans for everyone.